Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Finance. Has he been advised which banks have put up their interest rates or bank charges since loan to value lending limits were announced? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I've noticed media reports of some banks lifting rates. Uh, on inquiry, it appears that they are adding to their lending margins in response to action taken by the Reserve Bank some time ago to increase the capital weightings against low deposit loans. This is a quite separate and different measure from the restrictions on the number of low deposit loans. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Can he confirm that none of the four big banks, the ASB, BNZ, ANZ and Westpac, have prioritised first home buyers? And why does he think that Housing Minister Nick Smith told the House yesterday that, and I quote, banks announced they were going to prioritise first home buyers when none of the big four banks have said that? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm not aware in detail of, of what criteria the banks um, have, are applying. Uh, the government has certainly prioritised first home buyers with its changes to welcome home loans and KiwiSaver subsidies. What I can say is that uh, borrowers are enjoying an average floating mortgage rate at the moment of around 5.8 per cent. In August 2008, it was 10.7 per cent. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Did he ask the major trading banks to prioritise first home buyers once the LVR lending limits were announced? And if so, what was their response? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, we held, held uh, some discussions with the banks in order to inform the government uh, on its, its own policy with respect to first home buyers. Uh, but the banks uh, clearly do now and always have reserved the right to make their own commercial decisions. I suspect some of them uh, will try to differentiate and uh, others won't. Supplementary question, Jamie Lee Ross. Question to the Minister. What statements has he seen in support of limits on high loan to value lending? Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, actually one of the first times I, he I think that I heard about this idea was when it was mentioned by Phil Twyford, who apparently was the housing spokesman for the Labour Party, who believed that um, having restrictions on high LVR loans uh, might actually help cool down the housing market, and if he still holds that position, uh, then certainly the Reserve Bank Governor agrees with him. I'm still a bit of a sceptic. Speaker, point of order. Order. Point of order. Bill Twyford. Point of order. I, um, I seek the leave of the House to... Order. This is the point of order. I seek leave to table the results of a survey of the major banks showing that none of the big four order. banks What's have said the they're going to prioritise first-time buyers. What's the source of the document? Uh, it was published in the New Zealand Herald. <laughs> Then that will not be taken. Has the member got a further supplementary? I do, sir. Then he can ask it. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Why did he allow a full month to pass after signing off a memorandum of understanding giving the Reserve Bank the power to use LVRs before he requested advice from officials on the impact of LVRs on first home buyers? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, the uh, matter of any impact, the impact of any of the measures under um, the macro prudential regime has been discussed on and off actually for a couple of years. Uh, certainly when the Reserve Bank announced that it was going to formally consult, uh, then we formally took advice so that we could discuss with the Reserve Bank the intriguing idea put up by the Labor spokesman on housing, Phil Twyford, that restrictions on LVR uh, loans might actually cool down the housing market. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Actually, I'd like to point of order first, Mr uh, Speaker. I'd like to um, like the Leave of the House to table a... Uh, a sort of, sort of, is the member seeking to table a document? Yes. Okay. Sorry. What? I, would like, I would like the Leave of the House, sir, to table a, um, an answer to a written parliamentary question. Order. From the order. Minister. The member's now trifling with the House. Has he got a supplementary? 
Order! <laughs> Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. When the Prime Minister told the Herald in June... When the Prime Minister told the Herald in June that, and I quote, I don't think it should be a tool that is used to write high LVR ratios for a bunch of rich people and lock out a whole bunch of first home buyers. Did he seek your advice first? And did you tell him that you had already signed off the memorandum with the Reserve Bank without an exemption for first home buyers, making him look like a complete fool? Oh, Honourable Bill English. He's got that covered. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think the, the foolish bit is well covered and um, <laughs> won't be part of this answer. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister was aware of the uh, memorandum of understanding because, as I understand it, or as I recall it, it was announced in the budget in front of, what, some 120 MPs. So it wasn't exactly a secret. Uh, the Prime Minister uh, had some views about it and he's translated those views into changes in government policy, which mean that within the restrictions that are now applied by the Reserve Bank, uh, independently, the first home buyers have a better opportunity than they would have to get a loan. Supplementary question. Phil when will he admit he has completely bungled the loan-to-value ratio negotiations, and the result is that nearly 80% of first home buyers say now that they have no hope of getting into their first home, thanks to this government. Honourable Bill uh, Mr Speaker, uh, the answer to the first member's first question is never. And secondly, first home buyers, under any set of rules, are better off now than in 2008. In 2008, a first home buyer had to pay 10.7% floating rate for their first mortgage. Today, on average, they can actually get mortgages at 5%, less than half the rate uh, when that government was in power, and the average is 5.8 per cent. So they are better off. Order. Point of order, the Honourable Tony Ryle. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table a copy of an Official Information Act request asking how many patients were waiting more than six months for first specialist assessment and surgery for the years 2005 Order. through to 2012 from the leave Honourable Annick. Leave a sort to table that particular document. Is there any objection? There is none. It can be tabled. Point of order, Honourable Order. This is a point of order. Honourable. Poor old Billy. Uh, order. <laughs> order. Uh, order. The member can raise her point of order. Yes. And it will be in silence. But it will be in silence. <laughs> I seek leave to table every letter I wrote to every DHB requesting how many patients were refused first specialist assessment. Um, years 2010-11, 2011-12, 2012-13. Oh. The entire set of letters, Mr. Leave Speaker. sought to table the entire set of such letters. Is there any objection to that course of action happening? There is none. The member can table those letters. Order. I, I call on government order of the day number one. Honourable Doctor. Order. 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 The clerk first. Housing Accords and Special...